All right. So the, that we have the two way to create the contract contract workspace or I mean contract in that Ariba. So one way is that like if that we have the sourcing module, so we can create the contract directly like from the with reference to the sourcing project. Second option is that like we can create contract like as a stand alone. So we can go in the like create menu and from there we can select the option that create contract workspace procurement. So this contract which we have created like. A, with reference to sourcing project so when we are creating that contract with reference to sourcing project so in that case that uh, system will copy some of the information automatically in this contract workspace and few basic information will be and after providing like uh, the, the basic information on the overview overview screen so that once you will hit that clear contract so in that case system will create this workspace so even if you compare this workspace so it's quite similar with that our sourcing project as well so if you can recall when we have created the sourcing workspace like sourcing project as well that time also system has shown the same screen and there also we have a different type like overview tab document type task team message board history and spend tab so i think some of the tabs uh, like uh, is not available in the sourcing project like spend tab but apart from this all the other tabs were available in the sourcing project as well so in the same way like uh, that how the people how the that user they are driving the sourcing project in same way that they have to drive this contract to workspace as well so remember like now whatever things we are doing so we are basically not creating the contract so creation of the contract is you know like layman language but if you talk about from that like a river perspective so we are actually authoring the contract authoring the contract in the sense like we are on the way to create the contract so we are working on some around like uh, you know like we have to work on some task we have to work on some term and conditions documents we have to work on like some with some team member so that's something we have to do here so same way that when this workspace will be created that user will come on the on the team tab and in the team tab he has to assign a different team member so whatever the different team member required to author this contract he will come here he will assign the team member and after assigning the team member, he has to come on the task tab. So as we can see here as well, we have different tasks, like uh, we have different phases and different tasks. Like uh, the first phase we can see initiation authoring, and we have the first task that is update team member. So like this, he has to come here and he has to like uh, <clears throat> complete this task. He has to like uh, complete this task to create the contract. So we'll not discuss this task now because already we seen that during sourcing uh, sourcing session, like how we have to like uh, start the working on the task and how we have to complete this task. So instead of this discussion here, we'll discuss during template configuration because that is the basically our rule that to configure the task. So we'll see how we have to conf configure the different type of task in any of the template, not only in the sourcing or not only in the contract in all. So that's something we will see during our template configuration. So what we'll do, we'll directly jump to the business process and we'll try to understand whatever the different scenarios uh, will be there to author this contract. So before going to that inside the like uh, scenario, let me give you some like important, some like uh, information about this contract authoring. So let me just open one note right now. All right. So to author this contract, Ariba is providing that two tools. So there are two, like, I mean, that uh, two functionalities were available in the SAP Ariba contract module to author this contract. So earlier that Ariba were offering that uh, DFS and DFS is stand for desktop file sync. And second is that ECA. ECA stands for Enhance Contract Authoring. Okay. So now let's try to understand this terminology. What is DFS and what is ECA? So you basically that Ariba had the native integration with the MS Word and with the Excel as well. So it is providing the tight integration. So whenever we require to work on the tech word file or we have to work on the Excel file. So it's at the tight integration. Wherever we want to use, we can simply use. So since in the 
contract we have to work only with the ms word why in only in the ms word so basically like uh, <clears throat> whenever we have to create a contract so there it will be a need to you know that include that company is specific term and condition so what about the general general term and conditions that our company is using that's something we have to like uh, prepare the file or we we can we or we may receive the file from the our customer itself and we have to attach in the contract or sometime like if required we also have to prepare so sometimes the customer may ask you like they do not have the, any like uh, furnished document and we have to prepare that over document so let's assume that we have prepared one term and condition document but later point of time so sometimes we may require like to remove some of the section to remove some of the clauses from the term and condition so in their case that uh, whenever we are removing or we are adding any of the information so that history will also be captured in the contract so that's something i mean in the contract like space so for example let me just open one document first just to show you so i am going in the document tab and we can see in the document tab we should have one document here so we can see one main agreement is coming this showing here so this is something called as a main agreement but main agreement means don't get confused means main agreement is contract main agreement main agreement basically it is a word file so the combined word, word, word file is called as a main agreement and this main agreement document will contains that list of the term and condition document so just to see this main agreement document you can come here click on this drop down and you can click on the view details so once you, if you click on the view details system will display the information inside the main agreement so we can see here now we have different term and conditions here right so we can see we have service agreement we have term competency information attribution so like that we have the different term and conditions are available here and in downside we have the signature part and here that we can see two like sections of there for signature part that one is for the buyer and one is for supplier but sometime if there is a need to make some changes so for example let's say whatever that uh, information is given in the services agreement that something here we have to make some changes so what we have to do in that case in that case we have to download this file and we have to like uh, make the necessary necessary changes so let me just download this file we'll come here and let me download we can see download draft option so let me download draft 